Hey y'all, it's Kara from caseways.com here. And as y'all can see, I straightened my hair. I told you guys a couple weeks ago that I went ahead and I had the worst wash day experience ever. But this time around, I actually had the best wash day experience ever. So if you guys are interested in how I got my straightened hair and my best wash day in a while, definitely stay tuned to this video. So the products that I used that gave me the best wash day experience ever started with this deep conditioner and it's the Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner from Allocane Naturals. This deep conditioner had my hair feeling so silky and smooth. As you see, I am applying it. I had already washed my hair and I used just my regular um, sulfate free shampoo to wash my hair. But here I am actually applying the deep conditioner throughout my hair and I have that all throughout my hair. It spreads so evenly, it smells so good. It made my hair really manageable and I just really, really enjoyed this deep conditioner. So this is a deep conditioner that I would really repurchase. Absolutely bomb. So I'm so happy that I went ahead and purchased this stuff during Black Friday. Put, in, put on a plastic bag <laughs> instead of a cap. Of course, I don't have no more shower caps, so I went ahead and put in a black a little plastic bag and then I have on my nice toasty warm hot head from Thermal Hair Care. Now after rinsing out that deep conditioner we're gonna go in with our leave-in conditioner and this is also from Allocate Naturals. It's the Le Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. As you can see my hair is so manageable from that deep conditioner. I'm telling you as soon as I rinsed out that deep conditioner I felt a change in my hair. Like my hair felt so smooth and so silky so um, I'm just showing you guys here, I sprayed the, the leave-in conditioner in my hand and it's very thick, has all natural ingredients, freaking loving that. So that stuff is not moving. So I'm going ahead and putting that leave-in conditioner all throughout my hair and I'm using my modified Denman brush. If you haven't seen that video where I modified my Denman brush, I'll leave that link here. But I'm just going throughout my hair with my Denman brush, making sure to detangle before I actually go in to blow dry it. Now from, also from Allocate Naturals is the Silky Street, what is it, it's the heat protectant. And you see this is a totally different texture, it's more of an oily texture, so I'm going in and applying that to my hair, making sure to protect our hair from the heat that we are going to apply, because yes, I will be blow drying and flat ironing my hair, so definitely want to protect your hair with some heat protectant. I wanted to try the Allocate Naturals products for so long. My girl here on YouTube, Misha Loves Beauty, she uses it. She's also text like just like me. So once I saw that they was having that Black Friday sale, I definitely had to jump on it. So yeah, just distributing that product throughout our hair. And I'm going in with my handleless blow dryer from, well, Kiss by Red, Red by Kiss, I think it's called. Sorry about that. And I'm blow drying my hair. I love this blow dryer because it's, that's normally how I hold the blow dryer anyway. I really don't need a handle for my blow dryer. So I think this is the perfect size. It's the perfect weight, nice, nice and lightweight. I have no problems with this. I love the pick attachment that comes with the, the blow dryer. And you don't need to put too many passes to make sure that your hair is blow dried. So as you can see, I just went in. That was real time. I did not speed up that part. And just a quick little, not really length check, but um, I'm just showing you guys that it's almost at armpit length. And now we're going to speed it up. We're just going all throughout the head just to continue the same process. So leave-in conditioner, then I put in the heat protectant, then I go in with my Denman brush, and then we are going to blow dry our hair. And after I finish each section, I do go in and twist it up, or I think I braided it up at this for this one. Yeah, I think I did a couple of braids just to make sure that I don't put heat on a part of my hair that has already been blow dried. So that's why I go in with the braids. So I'm showing you again, Demon brush just to detangle and then blow dry it. And I did have a tangle there. This is why you see me using that fine tooth comb, but no worries, we got it out because that leave-in conditioner, everything from Allocate Naturals just had my hair feeling bomb. This is the best my hair has ever felt. And to top it off, the fact that when I actually flat ironed my hair, it actually lasted for like a good two weeks. Like, no lie. I didn't wear my hair out the whole two weeks, 
but my hair, like I can feel my scalp. It's been a minute since I can feel my scalp. I mean, come on, I'm seven months post, so it's been a minute since I felt my scalp, and it just felt so silky and smooth. So here we are, everything is blow dried now, and I am going in with the flat iron. So I did add just a little bit more of that heat protectant because I'm going in with another heat. So I did apply some to my hand, and then I applied it to my hair. But to flat iron my hair, I do prefer to use the chase method. And the chase method is just putting your comb right on the outside of the flat iron itself. The flat iron that I am using this time around is the New Me Silhouette. I told you guys over on caseways.com that I was getting this flat iron. And I freaking love it. It flat ironed my hair so silky, so smooth. And unlike my other flat iron, it actually allows me to get a bump at the end of my hair. It's not just like straight. That's one thing I hated about my other flat iron. Like the plates was just so thick and bulky and it never allowed me to actually get a nice curl at the ends. So yeah, we're gonna speed that up. As you see all throughout my hair, I'm using that chase method, just putting the comb there and then using the flat iron to glide through, making sure everything is straight. Now that's what the back looks like now that I went ahead and flat ironed everything from the back. So that's what that's looking like. And I could use a trim, which I will be trimming my hair in the next couple of weeks. So if you guys want me to record that, definitely thumbs up this video or leave a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see how I actually go in and self trim my hair because you guys know I do everything myself, right? That is how it basically turned out. You will see shortly a clip of the next morning and how I actually wore it to work the next day. But yeah, that's what it looks like. My hair has never felt so good. So Allocate Naturals, that will definitely be products that will be in my rotation. So yeah, I was just feeling it. The fact that I'm seven months post and I can actually run my hands through my hair, I was really excited about that. So now I'm just going in. I didn't know what to do with it overnight, so I just did the traditional doobie wrap. <laughs> and I just wrapped my hair around my head. And I'm going in with a nice silky scarf. Oh no, actually I used another one of the products. That's the last product that I got from Allocate Naturals. It's their moisturizer. I'll put the exact name because I don't remember the exact name of the moisturizer right now. But I went in and I put that on my head and my hair did stay moisturized. I didn't have to moisturize my hair, I remember, for at least another three days. Like my hair stayed moisturized. So I went in and put my silk scarf and then my bonnet and now it's time to go to bed. Next morning, you guys might have seen this clip from my previous video. And if you haven't seen the previous video, if you want to see how I got this little makeup look, I'll definitely link that video for you guys to check out. But I'm just unwrapping it and then going through my diamond brush just to shape it, make sure everything is nice and smooth. And you will see the full clip here. So my hair, it just never holds a curl. I just don't know what's up with my hair. It never holds a curl unless I like really curl my hair. So I did go in in the morning with that new me flat iron again and just bumped the ends a little bit just so that it wouldn't be so straight at the ends. But yeah, that's basically it. That's how my hair turned out. So if you guys want to see the makeup look here, it was a video that I recorded with my girl, Miss Sweet Shaw. So definitely check out that video. And until next time, beauties, I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you're not already, definitely subscribe to my channel. 
hit that red subscribe button. Don't be shy. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, y'all.